What's going on guys? Danny or Wi-Fi Astronaut back here with another video and today we are going to be going over a software. It's a new software. I have only used a couple times but it's called Scan Unlimited and it's a price list software where you can scan through price list to make your your wholesale search and your you know your wholesale expansion go quicker. Uh, this is something that I use every day in my business, not this tool specifically. I use analyzer.tools um, software. However, it's actually down for me right now. So we are going to be using Scan Unlimited. Um, I've always been wanting to kind of try it out and check it out. So I got a uh, premium account here. Let me switch the views. That's the wrong view. Perfect. I got a uh, premium account with them so we can try it out and see everything to their full capabilities. I've already ran one just to kind of see it just a little bit so I'm a little familiar but um, let's just kind of get right into it so pretty much you would when you're getting distribution accounts or wholesale accounts or from a brand you get you want to ask for what's called a price list or a master catalog is kind of the the term I like to use and you need to have uh, the UPCs and the price offered to you in it you absolutely need the UPCs it's not going to work with the SKUs it's not going to work with the descriptions you need the UPCs and then this will compare the data on the price list and the price that you can buy it at to Amazon and kind of see what might be profitable and what not and what's not um, the problem with these softwares is that they're not good with packs and they usually have a lot of blind spots um, not a lot. They've gotten better. They've gotten better, but you know it's never going to tell you the the whole truth and give you the hundred percent picture about a master catalog. Just because you ran it through the scanner once doesn't mean there's not more profitable products on there that the uh, scraper is not picking up because maybe the UPCs don't match on the listing or or there's an error in the in the catalog, something like that. But uh, without further ado, let's do a scan here. And the one thing I noticed about Scan Unlimited is that it seemed to be pretty quick compared to analyzer.tools usually takes like hours. So let's load this one. So right here in this price list, um, it's kind of showing a, a, the format on the screen, but pretty much this is the top line on the price list. Obviously the UPC discounts, uh, the pack quantity, and then the final price. So we are going to be searching by UPC. Uh, UPC stands for, I believe it's universal product code. EAN is a uh, European article number. ASIN is obviously the Amazon. Uh, I forgot the exact words for it. And then ISBN is for books and a keyword I would not use. There's, it's just not going to be that accurate. So we're going to be searching by product IDs, UPC. Cost column is our final price. And that is it. And then we're going to start the scan. And we will see right here. You guys will see I've... I've did it earlier in the day just to kind of test it out. Um, and then let's wait for uh, this scan to be completed. So as we wait uh, for this to finish up, it's only been going for a few minutes and it's already at 80%, which is pretty impressive. Uh, we're just going to come over to the scan settings here and we are going to put in a shipping cost per pound. Uh, we're going to just say 20 cents per pound. That could be high on LTLs, but uh, we'll just use that and uh, we're almost done here at 85% now normally when I, I use analyzer.tools and it could take hours and it usually does take hours for a line count around like 30,000 or 40,000 it could take a couple hours um, this has right now a line count of about 8,000 and it's literally doing it in a few minutes I would have to imagine they are sacrificing somewhat of accuracy or the analyzer.tools is just extremely slow. Um, I, I would feel like they're sacrificing accuracy here, but I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how they, uh, how they look. And then I'll do another video um, comparing and contrasting when I'm able to get into my analyzer.tools one. All right, so they're done. So let's click on the scan. And so as this loads, all right, so the first thing we're gonna notice uh, right away is that there's a lot of information. There's a lot of blank uh, information. Reviews and ratings are blank. And there's a ton of stuff. You got profit and ROI all the way at the end here. So first thing we're going to do is I want to see if the, are these even populating. 
All right, so it looks like reviews and ratings are not populating for me. So we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna go over here, and we're gonna get rid of a bunch of stuff. So we don't need to see. I mean, we could keep IP complaints, but reviews, ratings aren't coming up. Uh, all of these seem to be blank. It's not switching for me, but uh, height, length, width, weight. We don't need any of this. Uh, I think that's if Amazon's on the listing. Total offers we could keep. Category don't need this. We don't need. No, we need only these. Don't care about any of these. We could keep ROI, but you really shouldn't be using ROI. Um, you should only be going off a of margin. ROI is not always an accurate indicator. Um, and then L discount premium. Don't need that. I, yeah, we don't need that. Uh, and then we keep this and just move the rest around. All right, so come over here. Just playing around trying to see. All right, so perfect. So if you have a prep fee, uh, if you don't have a prep fee, you should know your fixed cost anyway. So it's whatever your, so let's say like this today's March 2nd. So your total units that got sent out in February divided by your total overhead, everything, software, warehouse or whatever your overhead is divide that and then that is your prep fee because anything below that is not actually profitable i know that's sometimes kind of hard to figure out if you're just doing it from home uh, but i would recommend putting something in there uh, even if you're just doing it from home uh, i'm gonna say a prep fee of a dollar 25 and this can we already have in and i'm just gonna re-enter a shipping cost of 20 cents all right save okay cool sales rank we're gonna come over and so the problem is, is that some of these, well, obviously are, are super high, but um, you'll see a bunch that are like negative one. So we just want to kind of filter all those out and keep in mind on this bottom number here. So right now it's 20, it's about 24 and a half thousand. So let's see if we can get rid of sales or uh, do something with sales. Rank. So we're going to do greater than one and... Uh, less than or equal to, uh, let's just say 100,000. And so right there, that gets rid of, I mean, <laughs> uh, almost over 20,000 of them. So right now that narrows us down to about 20,000 uh, or about 4,000 products. And then we're going to move the profit over here. And then this should cut us down a ton. So the IP complaints, honestly, I don't really need to see. Average 30-day rank doesn't look like there's anything on any of these, so we're gonna get rid of that. We can click, we can click back into ranks and stuff when once we are uh, doing further product research on it. Uh, I'd like the price to be next to my cost, and I would like my profit to be here. I don't really need to see the ASIN or the UPC. None of this really matters, at least for right now. All right, and the next thing we're gonna come over is profit. So we want, it has to be, uh, gr let's just say greater than two, Ooh. greater than two, and we also want it to be less than or equal to, I would, on this price list, so this is a grocery, I'd probably say 20, and the, pro and the reason I say this is because, so right now we're at 317 left, but if we go like this, like these are not right, like I just know off the rip. This is not right. And we'll look into one. We'll look into this one. So it's a four pack. Uh, and the cost is fourteen ninety nine. It's uh it's not calculating for the cost. Um yeah, so it's just it it's just not accurate. So we're gonna get rid of uh anything over uh twenty or greater than two, less than twenty. And that further cuts us down to about 300 products that we have to go through now. So if you noticed, we went from almost 25,000 products to now only 300. Now, I would be interested to see with these same filters, where would analyzer.tools be at or another scanning software? And I do have another one, a wholesale inspector that I also bought today that I want to try out. Um, so I can maybe do that in another video, but for right now, uh, this is kind of how I would set up Scan Unlimited, uh, and then pretty much you would just go through these and just start doing your product research. Uh, you could kind of quickly see, I actually like this, you could quickly see the titles, because um, these package quantities obviously aren't correct. So, oh, oh okay, I, I understand. So, 
it looks like these you click three and then it just takes it off so oh that that's actually pretty cool so you could just do that you could go down so this is a pack of 12 um so you come over be like this is a pack of 12 and it's gone because it's not profitable this is a pack of six it's gone because it's not profitable uh it's pack of two it's gonna be gone so you kind of just come down. We could even probably cap out the profit at 10 uh, just to really narrow it down. Uh, but just a lot of these are packs, it looks like. Um, again, this is the problem with scanning software is it's not always accurate. So this is this is the kind of sheet that then I would hand over to a VA or at this point in my business, I wouldn't really hand it over because they, they got to this point on their own. Um, and then they would go through, look through this, and then bring me... Uh, the profitable products and what products are in stock and out of stock uh, for my distributor for me to order. Uh, we could go through a couple of these that don't look like packs. Uh, let's go down this way. So a lot of these will probably be accurate, which is pretty impressive somewhat. So we could all see the total offer count, estimated sales. I have no idea how accurate this is. I would assume it's not that accurate. Um, so let's just, let's dive into a random one here. Let's go this one. All right. So the buy cost is $24 and the buy box is quite high. So just off the rip, uh, looking on the three month data, sales ranks a little high. Um, I'm not too sure how many units this could possibly be selling a month. There's four offers. I would only guess it's a hundred, couple hundred a month. Um, yeah, they, so they say seventy six. Uh, this is probably something I would pass on. It's just a little bit too expensive for the margin. The margin's too low. Uh, let's look at this one. So this is one that Amazon is on. Uh, they're on both. Yeah. Okay. So we would skip this. Um, Okay, cool. So this is definitely selling a few hundred units a month. Yeah, it's selling 1,800 units a month. Uh, the current buy box price is 2436 And it looks like there's definitely a map on this. Um, or there, yeah, there's definitely a map on this, which is a minimum advertised price. And it seems to be 2495 There's absolutely a map on this product, which is fine. You know, we share buy box. We can still sell through our maps. Uh, the other thing I'd be concerned with is just making sure there's not a huge drop in offer counts, and there's not. It is pretty low, though, so I would wonder if I'm gated in this brand or not. I'm not sure, uh, but we would, you know, test that out also in our product research. Uh, but, you know, this is definitely one I would order. Uh, it doesn't have a margin calculator on here, which is odd. I would assume they did have an ROI, but they don't have margin. Um, so, you know... Uh, two dollars ninety two cent profit for a cost of twelve. That is, that's, yeah, it's about twenty two percent margin. Uh, and this is after my prep fees. So this is actually they, this is a really good product. This is something I would order as long as I wasn't gated in it. Uh, there doesn't seem to be anything of concern. It's a good product, but I hope you guys kind of got the idea, maybe a little bit of how I do some of my research using these price lists. Uh, it's important to narrow these down because how you saw before, I took a list of twenty over 24,000 products to now under 300. Uh, so it's very, very, very important to narrow down these lists um, and also know that it's not catching everything. There's mistakes, like even on this one, with as much as we narrowed it down, there's mistakes all the way at the top here. These are, or here's a pack, here's a pack, six pack. Like these are, a lot of these are packs and they're not profitable. So it's just important to be cautious and knowing that if it seems too good to be true, it probably is, especially if you're getting these uh, master catalogs from big, big like nationwide distributors or large regional ones because odds are there's already Amazon sellers on it. Now, that doesn't mean it's not profitable because it still is, and there's more work that you could do on the back end to make these more profitable through, negotiate, for, through negotiating, but uh, just be mindful of these big ones probably not profitable. And if it is, it's probably not going to be long term. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I'll be making more soon comparing and contrasting different softwares. Let me know what you guys want to see down in the comments, like, comment, subscribe, do all that. Anyways, catch you in the next one. Peace.